A former Dartmouth police officer found guilty of raping two children. He was sentenced to prison today. Thanks for joining us at four. I'm Tiffany Murphy. ABC six news reporter Josh Kerman was inside the courtroom this morning. Sean Souza appearing in Fall River Superior Court Thursday morning for sentencing after a jury found him guilty of two counts of aggravated rape of a child, one count of rape of a child by force, and one count of indecent assault and battery of a person 14 or older. We had requested more and thought more was appropriate. I mean, you are dealing with a police officer here, okay? The victim who was raped by her said he should have been protecting me. Sousa was originally arrested back in 2019 and was placed on leave from the Dartmouth Police Department where he had served for 10 years. He had previously been let out on bail with a GPS tracker. Impact statements were read by an attorney and one of the victims ahead of sentencing. Since the trial began in 2019, I have endured an ongoing sense of anxiety and stress that has affected every aspect of my daily life. The repeated delays and extensions have prevented me from finding closure on a traumatic experience that I wouldn't wish on anyone. The years of uncertainty and anticipation have taken a significant toll on my mental and emotional well-being. One of the victims speaking in court media was asked to only share the audio from their statement. Filled with anxiety and fear, that crept in even when I tried to feel safe. The PTSD I struggle with reminds me daily of the trauma I experience, bringing back memories and feelings I wish I could forget. It is absolutely disgusting that the only father-like figure in my life chose to abuse me instead of protecting me. Sousa was sentenced to between 10 and 15 years with two years of parole after. In Fall River, Josh Kerman, ABC6 News.